All right, so how do you subtract exponents? You learn how to add them, how do you subtract them? Well, I'm Jimmy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. The important thing, though, is to really go over and understand the way this rule works. Now, basically the idea here is, if you have x raised to a power over x raised to another power, then you can subtract the exponents, but it's the top number minus the bottom number. Now, of course, we're assuming that the bases match. If they don't match, we wouldn't be doing this right now. But here's a couple of really quick examples for you. Suppose you have x to the seventh over x to the four. Now, to rewrite this, all you need to do is have your x, and then, like I said earlier, it's the top number minus the bottom number. So it would be x to the seven minus four, which, of course, is 3, and so your final result will be x to the third. Now, you might have a situation where the denominator is larger than the numerator. Well, that's not a big deal either. Suppose you have x to the sixth over x to the tenth. You have the exact same idea because you will take the top exponent and you'll subtract by the bottom exponent. So you have x to the six minus ten. Well, six minus ten as you know, is negative 4. So believe it or not, you can leave your answer as x to the negative 4 power. So that's pretty much the strategy. And I'm Jimmy, and that's how you subtract exponents.